there's nothing new about my saying that vein graft failure is common following coronary artery bypass graft surgery, but its relationship with long-term clinical outcomes has not been well studied. One would guess that graft failure would be associated with worse outcomes over time. Now in circulation, researchers report on a retrospective analysis examining the relationship between graft failure assessed by angiography 12 to 18 months after Cabot surgery and subsequent clinical outcomes. Using the PREVENT4 trial database, they studied data from about 1,800 patients with outcome measures of death, MI, and repeat revascularization through four years following the angiography. Vein graft failure occurred in 43% of patients, underscoring the notion that vein grafts fail frequently. To me, it comes as no surprise that the composite of death MI or revascularization occurred more frequently among patients who had any vein graft failure compared with those who had none. But the adjusted hazard ratio was only about 1.6, and here comes the surprise. The outcomes were not driven by death or MI, but more frequent revascularization drove them, with no differences in death or death or MI. This is one of those good news, bad news trials. The bad and not unexpected news is the vein grafts fail almost half the time within two years. But the good news is that death and MI are not different in patients with and without graft failure. I'm Peter Block, and this is a Cardiosource Heart Minute.